In Nigeria today, a deadly bombing at a bus station in the northeast city of Gombe. At least 20 people were killed. It was a homemade bomb that exploded as people were boarding buses. The officials in Nigeria are blaming Boko Haram insurgents for the attack. Along with this violence, Nigeria is facing the pain of lower oil prices. We were talking about it there with Mohamed al -Aryan. Around 70% of the country's income can be traced to oil exports. Moody says the West African country is still showing resilience in the face of this oil sell-off. And is with the oil price and the violence and the economic difficulties, the Nigerian currency, the Naira, remains deeply under pressure against the dollar. The central bank sold a small amount of dollars to help boost its value. But as you'll know, I've discussed many times, that is only ever a short-term effect. Co joining me over in our C-suite this evening is Tony Lumelu. Good to Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Thank you Richard. for joining us. Now, our guest here is a Nigerian-born businessman who is also among Africa's richest entrepreneurs. That's a fair description of you, isn't it? Well, thanks, Richard. Now, Good to meet you. tell me, sir, how worried are you about the economic situation in your country at the moment? I'd like to say, Richard, that the economic situation in Nigeria is far more nuanced beyond the impression that's been created. You know, first is... Uh, this current administration and the one before this actually have significantly and structurally altered the economic uh, landscape of the country. But the oil price is having an effect. It's certainly hurting the economy at the moment. Yes, oil, uh, because of the fact that a significant portion of our foreign exchange comes from oil and also the federal government taxes come from oil, significant part, yes, the oil price has an impact on, uh, on the economy. But the economy has proven to be quite more resilient than that. You know, if you look at uh, the other sectors of the economy, like agriculture, which is being revitalized, and which contributes over 60% of our GDP, then you begin to appreciate the fact that while oil is significant, there are other sectors that are actually helping the economy to be robust. One of the most vibrant parts of the Nigerian economy has to be the entrepreneurship, and that's why you're here to talk to us today. When we look at entrepreneurship, you think there's room to be optimistic, and yet many entrepreneurs leave the country, don't they? They the go to make their fortune elsewhere. Yeah, but some of us have been born in Africa, in Nigeria, and we work in Nigeria and we make economic fortune. Why is it like this? Why are, is there such entrepreneurship there? You know, I think there are a lot of opportunities in Nigeria, a lot of opportunities across Africa, and risk and reward basis. You have a lot of challenges, but also opportunities. In Nigeria, I would say, my own case, I'm a testimony to entrepreneurship in Africa and in Nigeria. I believe in entrepreneurship. And I have seen that there's nowhere that you make the kind of economic returns that you make in Nigeria and across Africa, in fact. But the truth is the narrative on Nigeria is so that people don't even want to see explore all these opportunities, well, which, in a way is, what, which in a way is not bad for local entrepreneurs. No, but what but, we're but, saying well, is... But, but there does need to be some changes in regulation, doesn't there? There does need to be a certain um, a strengthening of certain aspects, even with, even with good entrepreneurship. So let me ask you, as a businessman, yes. what is the one thing you want now from the government? The, as a businessman, there are quite a lot of things you want from government, but one of the things well, we want from government is... First, we acknowledge the fact that a lot has gone on in the area of transforming the economy, the power sector transformation, the agricultural transformation. These are very good. However, we want to make sure that the enabling environment for businesses and entrepreneurs to continue to do well are put in place. I believe strongly in the power of entrepreneurship in providing economic solutions to the continent and Nigeria's challenges. But for entrepreneurship to do well, the enabling environment has to be put in place. Sir, may I wish you a very good holiday season, sir. Thank you very <laughs> Thank much for coming in and talking to us. Thank you, Thank Richard. You. Now, when you put it all together, it is outstanding, astounding, brazen, and the consequences are global. What Alstom did to incur a record fine for bribery. This question is business. Good morning.